tell your generations what happened. That's why you are here. And I love you. When I see you, I'm inspired. And then we are Mami. We are going there before we come. As for the history, you know it at your place already. So I'm not going to tell you any history about the is about why the white man came here. You know it. You know why the Mediterranean Sea was blocked. You know why Alfonso and Francis Drake opened up sea uh, uh, this is training places for his uh, for the uh, for the Iberian Peninsula, Portugal and Spain. But now you are here to have the feeling of the river where our great great ancestors had the feeling and had their last bath. Now never again until they were over there. And today you are you are, you are you are you are lucky to be here to see it. Go back and tell the history. Whatever you see here, go and tell the truth. And not what you have heard there that when we when they came here, we we, we, we exchange mirrors for human beings. We exchange hum, uh, human beings for ram. Anything we could just is, is to get somebody to play the fool, excuse me, to say, please, let's go. Anybody want water? Yes. Okay. Well, Family, we're live on the Revolutionary Camp. We're back back at a sin mantle last bath of our enslaved ancestors. I want you to have the feeling of the river before you go back. That is, please, pictures here are not charged for. You can take them free. You can see the, uh, the portrait and showing that they are free forever. The chains are broken, but are we conscious? Your conscience. Look at it. The chain is broken. Emancipation. You are emancipated. You are free. Consciously. Are you free? Yes. yes. It's been a process, consciously, yes. It's a process. It's a process. Thank you, may, may, may the creator. Shower you with his blessings. Let's go. Where you are trodding was treaded five centuries ago. Five centuries ago. Because those who are taking part in the trade didn't know didn't see anything wrong with the trade. Number two, they saw that they were satisfied, they were wealthy because of the trade. So they didn't want to stop it. And three, they wanted to settle here because their land was not all that productive. And it has continued, and we are praying that it should not continue again. Never again. Never again. Let's go on our journey. I want that you have the touch of the water before you go back. You see, when you are late like this, I, 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 I don't have what I would have given to you. It is, uh, will be, will be lesson. As I, as we are going, we are about two hundred meters to the river where the captives, where the captives. All Africans who were weak and fragmented were used as merchandise. We are about to enter the market. We are about to enter the market. But before you enter the market, you are going through, we shall be going through a wall to show you two types of chiefs or kings who were ruling and to show you that in Africa, we were practicing democracy before the Europeans came. So on the right, on, the, on my left hand side, you know chiefs who practiced good behavior and they were buried in the mausoleum. And on my right, chiefs who did not perform well and they were destroyed and they were buried like a common person. So when we go there, that just shows you what 
happened in Africa before the Europeans came. So when you are taking your pictures, on my right, there were people who were not buried in the mausoleum. On my left, people who established and they were buried in the mausoleum. <laughs>